All right, for this beautiful picture of some bubbles, you are going to need black paper, some colored pencils, and especially a white colored pencil. You're done. Now I'm going to cheat and use some patterns. I have some circle patterns here. You don't have to use the circle patterns. If you can draw a circle, then you are very talented and skilled. I have these multiple circle patterns. I only need these three. Go ahead and put it down. Make sure you press down really hard and you are going to trace it. Again, we're using our white colored pencil so we can see it. So you notice on these, they are, they can overlap. It's the same thing, they just overlap. Um, they have color, different colors. This one has red and blue and a little bit of green, but they're only on the edge of the bubble. If you look at a picture of a bubble, the, the middle part is going to be clear. And in this case, it's going to be black because our paper is black. And they have a lot of white highlights. So there's white on the edges and there's some white highlights and there's some little white dots for the highlights in the center. You wanna go ahead and give it a nice white edge. I'm going to take any two colors and I'm going to start coloring along the edge. Notice that I'm coloring along the edge of the bubble, which means I'm not just going to color in one direction. Usually I tell you to color in one direction. This time you're going around. My next step is to take my white pencil, okay, and I'm going to show you um, a rectangle looks like this. You all know what a rectangle looks like. See it? rectangle. All right, but what we're going to do is we're going to pretend we're taking this rectangle and we're going to kind of curve it around the bubble. So we're going to start by making a curve, which is going to follow the edge of the bubble, kind of like a little flat rainbow, and then a smaller rainbow over here, and then we're going to connect that. So it's it's it looks almost like the windshield of a car, or actually, you know when the windshield wiper wipes, it kind of looks like that part that gets wiped. So I don't know if you... And you have to make them at opposite sides. So if I make one over here, there's my top rainbow, there's my bottom rainbow, and then I'm going to connect them. There's one. I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna, again, I'm going to turn this over so that I can kind of make it the same way. Top rainbow, bottom rainbow, and then connect them, and then just color them in with white. So again, we're gonna leave the center part white, I mean, well, clear for now, which is actually black. All right, but you can add some other little highlights around. And notice that no matter where I am, I'm following the shape of that curve of the bubble. All right, and then after that, you can just add some more colors. You can add the same blue that you did before. You can add a different color, maybe I want some purple. And the last thing you're gonna do because you want some white highlights that don't have any color at all. So you're going to put these on the black area and there's circles. So there's a circle, kind of like if you do an eye, you want to make a reflection. These are not going to have any color, just white. That is your bubble. It doesn't look that impressive now, but when you put all of them together, this is exactly what we did before and it actually looks like bubbles. Same thing. When you put them all together, especially when they overlap, you're going to see that they do look like bubbles. There we go. That's your bubble sheet.